Last time, it was up to the Daleks. Now, it's up to the Cybermen. The question is, can the Cybermen save the worst Doctor Who episodes? So, for those of you that don't know, in this series, I take the worst Doctor Who episodes, pick five and replace the villain. This time, with the Cybermen. Let's get to it! Sleep no more. Morpheus, a corrupt organisation that believes they're doing good, but actually are putting people using machines in danger. Sounds similar? That's right, I'm replacing Morpheus with Cybus Industries. This would mean the sleep pods are actually conversion chambers. Which especially works with this scene where Clara gets pulled into the Morpheus pod. And what if Rasmussen was a descendant of John Lumick? It would also still allow the whole no sleep idea as Cybermen can't actually sleep. With the glitching effects and video game aesthetic, I feel this would work a lot better if it was the Cybermen. And it would be a lot scarier. The Saranga Conundrum. Ah, this episode. Well, first things first, the pitting would need to go. Although, I don't think Cyberman would actually work any better for this episode. We see the pitting crawling through ventilation shafts and other parts of the ship. So, the villain would need to be small and fast. I got it! Cybermats. These small machines can kill and upgrade people, but in this case, I would copy how they were used in closing time, so for this episode they would be draining all the power from the ship. This would mean the ship and all the people on it would be at risk. And there's always a chance the actual Cybermen could come into it later in the story, as Cybermen are no strangers to hospitals. I feel that this would give the episode a lot more action and threat, which is what this episode really needed. Hellbent! Yes, I know they were technically already in it, but what if it was more than just a cameo, and they were the big villains of this finale? as there wasn't really a big villain for this story. The Cybermen have invaded Gallifrey before, so for this story I would definitely use the amazing Cybermasters. Although this does come with the problem that this might be too much like the series 12 finale. But I think the Cybermasters would just be perfect for this story. People are already theorising that the Cybermasters are the hybrid. Which is the question the whole of Series 9 has been leading up to. The truth is, it just wouldn't work as a Cyberman story, as it'd be too much like the Timeless Children, and if it was the Cybermasters, that would mean the Master would have to be in it as well, but in this case it'd be Missy. No, it just wouldn't work. Loving Monsters. In some people's eyes, this episode is iconic, but on the other hand, some people really don't like it. As hard as it is, considering it was made by a kid, the Absorbaloff would have to go. This is where it gets a bit messy. Victor Kennedy would have to be a bit like Miss Hartigan. But in this case, he would be fully upgraded near the end of the story when the Absorbaloff was originally revealed. Also, instead of people becoming absorbed into his body, Victor would instead lure the people into a conversion chamber to become Cybermen. For the ending, Ursula would not turn into a paving stone, but she would be half converted and the Doctor would be able to get her emotions back. So, it kinda worked. But, I would just leave this episode as it is. Resolution. Wait, what? This is a bad episode? Seriously? 
Well, I suppose instead of Lin being controlled by a Dalek mutant, instead she could be under the influence of the Siberiad. And come to think of it, the Recon Dalek could also be replaced by the lone Cyberman, especially as it's made of old Cyberman parts. The Doctor would just be as scared and the threat would be somewhat equal. It's clear this episode was written for the Daleks exclusively, so replacing them would just feel really wrong. So that's all the episodes, what do you think? Do the Cybermen improve them or make them even worse? Also, I've done both the Daleks and the Cybermen, but would you like me to continue this series? If so, please let me know what monster I should do next in the comments down below. If you're new, feel free to click the red button below to join the adventure. I've been Lewis and you've been... Brilliant! So are you sitting comfortably? Our tribute to the show is If we had to choose another we just would